Hi, in this video, I will show you that how you can test your RF module with serial communication. I will show you the hardware, what you need and how you will configure serial communication with your PC so that when you swipe your RFID card, then its serial number can show on the monitor using terminal. So let's start. First, you will need a RFID reader. These are available in different types and sizes. So it doesn't matter, but I have one with serial port. You will need a power supply to power up your boot and you will need a serial cable. I don't have serial port on my machine, so I will use this USB to serial cable. This is available in just few hundred rupees. And of course, one RFID card. That's it. So let's do our connection first. This is very simple. So serial port of cable will go into the serial port of board. Let's give the 5 volt power supply now. Now switch on the board. Ok, this is ready now. Let's test our RFID card if it is detecting that. Perfect, it is detecting fine. Next, we need to establish a connection with our Windows PC. I have Windows 11 but the steps are same for Windows 10 or 8. Unfortunately, Hyperterminal is no longer offered with recent Microsoft Windows operating system which we had pre-installed in Windows XP. Anyway, we will use alternative option. So free option is Putty which is widely used for many applications. So let's download the application first. We will navigate to www.putty.org. So type www.putty.org in the URL of your web browser. Now you will see the option of download Putty. Click on this option. Now you will see many options here. First is installation packages and this is direct application file. So there are many additions listed here. We will use this putty.exe edition. So click on this. Now this will download on your machine. Okay, it's downloaded now named as putty. Next, we will open device manager to check if USB to serial communication is detecting and what is the port number. This is very important to know the correct port number to establish a successful connection. So open device manager. Now expand this little. We need to look for ports, COM and LPT. So here it is. Now we will expand this branch. You see only one communication port here which is COM1. Note that we didn't connect the USB to serial cable with the PC till now. So first we need to connect this USB to serial cable with our PC through the USB port so that it can detect the device. Perfect. Now you can see the device is added and now USB serial CH340 COM3 is listed. So now we know that COM3 is our active port number for the serial communication. Now we will go to our download application which is putty and we will double click on this to open it. This is putty configuration window. First select session and here you need to select connection type which is serial in our case. Next go to the connection section. You can see it in the left panel for category. Expand this and you will see serial here. So click on the serial option. Now you need to give some basic settings to establish a connection. First is connection port. So we know that in our case COM3 is our active port which we can see in device manager. So write COM3 here. Next select the baud rate. So 9600 is ok here. Next data bit. So 8 is ok here. Next stop bit. So 1 is ok here. Parity would be none. Flow controller is also ok here. Now click on open. So this is our terminal. Now let's swipe our RFID card and let's see if it can read the card number and if we can see that in the terminal or not. Great, so it can send the RFID card number to the terminal. I hope this video would be helpful to you. If it is helpful then please like this video, comment on video and share this video and don't forget to subscribe for regular updates. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful please give it a like and leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for regular updates.